the couple pressure point that I want to explain tonight on the back of the hand is two pressure point is one is one is here and the other one is here okay the the pressure point here is really halfway in between the hand and also the space in between these two bones vice versa vice versa the other pressure point is also halfway in between these two joints at the same time the space in between these two bones I hope you can see the my fingernail marks okay next we will uh, show you how to apply this particular pressure point on a very specific self-defense china application a very common street self-defense situation is neck choke neck choke it could be very effective as well as very dangerous attack <laughs> to deal with it is a lot of the time to first of all to preserve your windpipe immediately you turn your neck that's the uh, first thing that you do to prevent your windpipe for being uh, severely injured turn your neck secondly as you do that immediately have your hand to uh, position on the first pressure point we're talking about, uh, uh, we talk about. From here, apply the pressure with your fingers, immediately twist and then turn. This way. That's how you finish off your application. With additional pressure, the person will be totally under your control. The other angle, as you've been attacked with the neck choke, immediately turn your body to uh, prevent your windpipe from being injured. Immediately apply the pressure point on the first point here. Squeeze and twist. Reapply the other hand. And then with a stance, 